The Neh have always uh, understood the importance of uh, having the knowledge to uh, plant at certain seasons of the year and uh, to harvest it. And in the years past, it was that families, clan families and that, would help one another to uh, do the plowing and the preparation of the soil and then the planting of the field and then finally the harvesting. And But in between, of course, you had to care for it and make sure that the birds and other little creatures didn't carry off the seeds or take advantage of the opportunity to uh, acquire seeds and that while they were in the ground. And so there had to be ways to uh, protect what was planted. And so it was the uh, responsibility of the uh, children in that in many cases. I remember when uh, we had to keep the jackrabbits and the cottontails and other little uh, critters and that from uh, eating the plants when they sprouted. And so there's a lot of uh, labor involved in the, the uh, idea of planting and even a small garden such as I have here. Um, my late wife always encouraged uh, our family members in that to learn how to plant and to harvest and to can and uh, some way preserve what was uh, harvested. The uh, traditional teachings of our people have always been that you should have enough to uh, feed your family throughout the winter season and also to have enough leftover seeds and that to plant again in the following uh, seasons. So there's a lot of thoughts in that that were put into the idea of uh, planting and pre preserving foods and that. And there are a lot of uh, stories in that even today when you look at the uh, history of this country or this continent. Uh, prior to 1492 there were a lot of different plants and, and food food stuff that was not available to the Europeans because most of the food in that that is found in the produce department of all the major grocery stores in that throughout the country actually uh, was only available on this continent. And so the uh, tradition among many Native American people is that uh, of knowing how to plant and how to harvest what is planted. The uh, idea that uh, hunting and gathering is something that uh, people keep uh, bringing up that may have been the case with some tribe, but there are other tribes in that that understood the idea of farming and to uh, work as a group to uh, plant and to harvest. And the Dene were such a group of people. The Dene, the early Dene, found it very necessary to understand, you know, when uh, the character known as Cocopelli by a lot of people. Actually, Cocopelli has a great big pack on his back, and those are the packs that was... Uh, containing seeds and that, of all of the different vegetation and that, that would be uh, planted and harvested in the place where the the neh were going. Planting and that is uh, viewed as something that is very old and very ancient, and the teachings and that associated with the uh, idea of planting and harvesting and being completely self-efficient is so very important. We always put the corn to the east the uh, corn in that comes in uh, a lot of different colors. And then we have the um, plant of the, uh, the beans on that to the south. And then we have to the west, we have the, uh, the squash and uh, the pumpkins and those types of plants. And then to the uh, north, we go to the uh, tobacco plant. Uh, the tobacco plant is not something that was uh, planted in the, in the garden, but it was left out in the wild. And so it is that uh, that has to be searched for and uh, there are only certain places that the tobacco plant grows annually, and you have to know how to harvest it. And uh, one other plant I might mention is the potato plant. I planted uh, some potatoes between the, uh, the corn and the uh, beans in one season, and they did very well. But uh, the potato is something that is very much a, a wild plant at one time. But today, nowadays, the uh, potato is a very large type of plant. Uh, uh, plant. But when the uh, traditional Dene first uh, began to use the potato, they were very small, probably about maybe as uh, big around as a golf ball. But uh, it was a very uh, abundant food, and it was something that was harvested actually near all of the sacred mountains, which is uh, the, the mountain to the uh, uh, east, the mountain to the south, the mountain to the west, and the uh, mountain to the north. The potato plant grew in all those areas, uh, but to th this day, it's very hard to find those uh, uh, potato plants in those areas.
our young people and that don't really understand the importance of knowing how to, to plant and to har harvest what is planted and how to care for it. And we have uh, lost the, uh, the talents in that and the skill necessary to do that. And so I have here in my uh, little garden, I have melons and squash and corn and chili peppers. I plant the, um, what they call the Green River melons and they get pretty big. And uh, I've had some, I don't, I've had some in the garden here that have kind of uh, exploded because they were growing too large. But the uh, planting technique and that associated with uh, doing it in modern times and today there are so many different ways as far as to plant and to be successful in producing a good garden. Uh, the only thing I haven't planted this year is the uh, beans. And there are a great variety of beans. And the, uh, the ne felt very, it was very important for them to know how to plant a, a good field of beans. And in recent times, they had hundreds of acres of beans. Some of the places that I have uh, helped as far as harvesting is up into the uh, area that is uh, west of the uh, Zuni villages, uh, northwest of the Zuni villages, down in the, the southern part of the Navajo Reservation, where they have a place that they call Jones Ranch. There used to be uh, many acres of beans in that that were planted, and that's the only uh, plant that I haven't harvested or planted here. But I do have corn, and this corn is the blue corn. Now, because of the available water in that that I have, I have watered them, and they have grown very tall. And then, of course, the, uh, the melons do very well, and the squash do, are just excellent. And I have a large variety of squash in that that I have planted, and the uh, chili peppers in that have done excessively well as, uh, as they've taken to the ground here. But the uh, preserving of a lot of these foods, the corn was very simple. You, you can uh, dry it by just pulling the, the uh, corn husk off of the ear of corn and then exposing it to the sunlight and uh, leaving it out in the open and uh, keep the critters or the small insects away from it, it will preserve. And the seeds of the uh, melons and squash and uh, so on, you can uh, save those pretty well. And the beans, well, they are a seed in themselves. But the um, other plants all have uh, seeds and they produce seeds. But now you have to be very careful because there are some of the uh, plants on that that have been genetically engineered that won't reproduce very well at all. And so you have to be very careful on the types of seeds that you acquire to, uh, after you've harvested and removed the seeds and you can use them again. And in the old days when our people would harvest the uh, squash, it was, uh, it was dried. And it was also something that uh, could be uh, ground to a fine powder and mixed with other, other foods and that. And so, that's something that a uh, process that we have kind of gotten away from and don't, don't know how to do very well anymore. But uh, the plants that were put into the ground as seeds and then harvested, they, that is still here. But there are so much other types of foods than that that are out there in the wild. And those also are, are plants that were harvested and uh, used as food stuff among the Diné. The way things are going in the world today, it's going to be very necessary to know how to do these things and there's a lot of information in that available and so I would encourage not only our young Navajo people but also all of the people that uh, tune in to listen to us to uh, plant a garden know how to be self-efficient it's so very important and those are the things that we have been encouraged to know how to do as the net and those are the things that we are told <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.